Man have sought out many inventions. ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Part 1. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rabbi Chakwadash. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, talking the truth through the Spirit, singing honors to the elect, peace and blessings to the one third, and confusion of faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 29. Lo, this only have I found that God, Yahweh, had made man upright, and they have sought out many inventions. In, in the modern day time that we're living in, a lot of our conveniences come from inventions that man have created. So let's go into the Blue Letter Bible. We're talking about the traffic light, the, the washer and dryer to wash your clothes, the combustible engine for a vehicle, uh, alternating current, the Wright Brothers. I mean, even so, so many advances we have made in technology, right? Right? So let's go to the own um, strong definition of that, of the word. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, the word is um invention. But the Hebrew word, this is not how you pronounce it. Strong H2810. Heshavon. Heshavon. It's not pronounced that way. It's really pronounced Ha Sha Ba Ba One. I think that's a W. One. All right. Forgive me. It's like two in the morning. My eyes kind of blurry. So when you go down to the strong definition, what does it say? A contravent. What? We'll look it up. Actual. A war-like machine. Pay attention, y'all, right here in this area. A warlike machine. That's what it says right here. And this word, we're going to look up. I think I already have it up. All right. If I'm not mistaken. Right here. Contrivance. 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 The use of skill to bring something about or create something. A device, especially in, liter in literally or artistic composition, which gives a sense of artificiality. So Ecclesiastes 7 and 29, Lo, this only have I found that God have made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Not all inventions are terrible, but this invention right here is prophetic to a major, a major change in civilization itself. And I'm going to prove that. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. I And I have created the waster to destroy. There's plenty of words right there we could go into. But the one word I want to focus on is instrument instrument pay attention pay attention man have sought out many inventions and this is biblical prophecy let's go into that word instrument this is how they pronounce it Strong's Strong's H3627. H3627. from what I see I see Kalaya Kalaya that's what I see if I'm not mistaken Kala, yeah. Then you got Kala right here. Article, vessel, implement, utensil. Okay. Ooh. What did it say right here, y'all? Change the damn color. What did it say right here, y'all? It's a lot. Here. Let me turn this around. You got to get that use of this. What it says right here. Implement of hunting or war. War. The waster to destroy. But look down here in the in the KJV translation count. This Hebrew word shows up 325 times in English words. Vessel 166 times. Instrument 39 times. Weapon 21 times. 
Jewel 21 time armor bearer with Strong's H5375 18 times, stuff 14 things, 11 armor 10, furniture 7, carriage 3, bag 2. So this instrument is one of warlike. Because remember, we went back to the invention. And this instrument is a waster to destroy. Okay? And, and, and what shall that destruction go to? Forgive me. That destruction will go to Isaiah 34, verse 1 through 6. Come near ye nations to hear, and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear, and all that is therein, the world, and all things that come forth of it. This is synonymous with Matthew the 24th chapter when it says, This gospel shall be preached unto the what all corners of the earth, then the end shall come. Because we're scattered all over the world. So this world, this world has to go out to not only to our people, but to all nations on the earth. Why? Verse 2. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations. Just saw an article where it says 40 more, 41 more countries are going to um, accept the BRICS currency one month ahead of the due time. Man, they are really rolling. America going to be out here buried by itself. Babylon the Greeks going to be through. For the indignation of the Lord is upon all nations and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them. He hath delivered them to the slaughter. The slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. Mm. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved. Listen to this. The host of heaven, whatever you see in the sky, going to be dissolved. And what do we see? The clouds. Go online on YouTube and look up TSAR bomb explosion. Or look at the top 10 um, a nuclear or atomic explosion. What happens as soon as it detonates? Very bright flash. Then the mushroom cloud starts to form. But right before that mushroom cloud forms, all the clouds in the sky, in the sky dissipate, meaning they disappear. So, and all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heaven shall be rolled together as a scroll. You have to envision what, what Isaiah is witnessing. Isaiah is witnessing the mushroom cloud. And all the hosts shall fall down, and the le and the leaf falls off from the vine. Cause you see when they had those those prop people out there, and they were like in a wooden cabin. There was a tree, and like the trees get ripped up and everything. What's a prime example of the leaf fall from off the vine? They showed you a before and after picture of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. You can literally see the trees all linked down to the ground. And as a falling fig from the tree, for my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. Idumea. Well, Idumea is the Greek word of saying Edom. Edom is also who? Esau. Who is Esau today? The so-called white man. Woman and child. Well, how, how do you know that? 1925, Jews Encyclopedia, page 41, edition 5, clearly reads, Edom is in modern jewelry. Martin means present. So whoever are the, you know what, small hats, 1948ers, Zionists, they are also Edom. The book, of, the book Arthur Coaster says that. The 13th tribe. It's only 12 tribes on. I rest my case. Anyhow, yeah, so Babylon the Great is America because that's who, this who rule, who rules America? Adumia, Edom, Esau. All right? But the Lord is going to bring forth the plague unto them. This is Zechariah chapter 14, verse 12. This is that invention. They saw that many inventions, but the Heavenly Father is the one that's, um, the, what's the one I'm looking for? Deceiving them. <laughs> for those who don't know. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord shall smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Yeah, we're rooting for, yeah, we're rooting for the other heathen nation to bring down America. But all y'all accelerated, all right, our servitude, our slavery. Why? What's the what's the point of us picking all that cotton and tobacco and sugar cane and nobody's buying it? Y'all was in on it too. All right? Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Think about you standing on your feet and your flesh being consumed. 
and their eyes shall consume away and their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. As you stand upon your feet, you losing your eyes, your tongue, and your skin at the same time. Sarah Connor and Terminator 2 at the fence when there was a nuclear explosion in the back. That was a vision in the Bible that the Lord put in on the mind of the producers and the director. The Lord is the director of this movie known as Life. Why would the Lord do such a thing? Isaiah 45 and 7. I formed the light and create dark. I made peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. He created darkness and he created evil. Y'all must have forgot. Listen to this. Job 32 and 8. But there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty give of them understanding. There is a spirit in man. That spirit goes back to the breath of life, which goes back to the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because if you go into the blue letter or where the word spirit is at, it goes back to um, Proverbs 27 and I think like 17, where it speaks about the spirit in man is a, is, is a candle, which is a light. 2 Corinthians 4 and 6, the light of the knowledge of Yahweh Mashiach goes back to what? The lamp, which is the, a law unto my feet. Meaning, if you love me, keep my commandments. That's where our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding comes from. Did not the Lord say, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge? Because you have rejected knowledge, I also shall reject you and your seed. Hmm. BLM, huh? The Lord is cold, man. And it's a cold world. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Hmm. Proverbs 16 and 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The Lord created the wicked. Let that sink in. The Lord created the wicked. Now let this sink in. One more time. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the play wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. That's the scene you see right there on the screen. And the inspiration of the Almighty that gave a man understanding, he gave Esau the, the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding for, to make create that. Why? Because the Lord, he created them for the day of evil. But listen to this, and I'm going to close out. Because how are we going to make it out? Yeah, how shall I pray for us? St. John chapter 17, verse 12 through 15. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name, Yahweh Shai. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost but the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled. And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word. And the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. So yes, the Lord created the wicked for the day of evil, but even Yahweh shall know what's to come and say, Lord, I pray you keep them from the evil, but please don't take them out of the world. That's heavy. Why? Remember, well, one of the things that is well pleasing to a man, a man that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3 through 7, but the Lord is faithful who shall establish you and keep you from evil. And we have confidence in the Lord touching you that ye both do and will do the things which we command you. That's heavy. So, in other, the Lord will keep you from the evil if you do the things which he command you. So, if you love me, feed my sheep. If you love me, keep my commandments. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Shalom.